Love Time les da la bienvenida al Dakar 2011. Victory is in our hands. The first day of the Dakar Rally took the contestants from Buenos Aires to Victoria in the late stage. The competition really started this Sunday with a ride from Victoria to Cordoba, including selective sections of 222 kilometers for the cars and trucks and 192 kilometers for the bikes and quads. The first category to take off was the bikes. Marcoma started first in BIM number one. The 2009 edition winner was followed by Cyril Desprez, Ruben Faria and the rest of the contestants. At the first checkpoint of the day at kilometre 110, Cyril Desprez was leading. The 2010 winner was 33 seconds ahead of Portugal's Ruben Faria, his KTM teammate. At this point of the stage, Marcoma was 1 minute and 11 seconds adrift. But the hierarchy changed at checkpoint 2. It was then Ruben Faria riding in first position, faster than his rivals Depre, Coma and Pedrero. And the Portuguese confirmed his lead in the last kilometers to clinch a stage win in Cordoba on his KTM bike. He finished 29 seconds before title holder Cyril Depre and 1 minute 15 seconds ahead of Spain's Mark Coma. A good start to the competition for the KTM team. In the car section, Volkswagen's Carlos Sainz was the first to hit the road. The title holder was followed three minutes later by BMW Stefan Peterancel, a nine-time winner of the Dakar, with six victories in bike and three behind a wheel. Carlos Sainz started this 2011 Dakar the way he ended last year's as a leader. The Spaniard set the pace in the first kilometers, driving fast and cleverly. He logically was the fastest at the first checkpoint at kilometer 137. Behind him, his contenders to the title, Francis Stefan Peterancel and Qatar's Nasser al -Atiyah. Sainz kept going and was still leading at chain points 2 and 3 and at the finish line, Carlos Sainz was the boss this Sunday in this area where a WRC leg takes place. He confirmed his potential winner status this year again. Second and third of this stage, Stefan Peterancel and Nasser al -Atiyah followed by two Volkswagen drivers, Mark Miller and Genial de Villiers. This first leg of the Dakar tends to prove that Volkswagens will be the team to beat in 2011.